Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com and in this tutorial we're going to look at debugging your application on your phone, or at least running it on your phone. So, um, one thing I'm going to do, um, actually, that I forgot before, was that um, if you go to the um, your manifest file, so let's go to the Android manifest.xml here, which is this, and you'll see not only is there an icon here, but there's also a label and a label is set to a string value in strings.xml and it's set to the uh, ID app name so I'm going to go to strings.xml here and let's use the resources view of it and let's just select app name and change that to actually it's already set to note squirrel so that's fine um, but I think the one that I want to change is title activity main here because we've got that set to main activity um, and that's going to end up appearing under my icon on my phone if I'm not careful. So let's change that to Note Squirrel. Okay, so that's good. And I'll save that. Um, and now I'm going to deploy this on my phone. Um, and to do that, there's um, three things that you need to check. One is if you're on Windows um, specifically, go to um, your Android SDK manager here and make sure you've got installed the um, USB driver because you'll need that and once you have um, you can plug in your phone so I've got my, my phone plugged in via a USB cable and the other two things to check are well I'll cover them in a minute but first let's use um, let's actually see what the phone looks like so I'm going to go to um, Google here and um, if you type in Android screen screencast this link comes up and this is um, like a Java program that you can run from a browser that will show you your Android screen so I'm just going to click this link here click keep and run this JNLP file this Java uh, net launch or whatever it's whatever it stands for I forget and um, hopefully this will enable me to um, show you my phone so I'm going to say I accept the risks here because it looks legit to me and I'm going to select my phone rather than the emulator here and click OK and uh, if we're patient for a second hopefully there's my phone there's my desktop with a nice picture by Escher there okay so um, I'm going to go to my phone now, so I'm going to—I'm actually going to my phone in the real world, which of course you can't see, but I'm going to unlock it, and um, there's a little bit of lag on this emulator, but it's okay, and there's my application running actually from earlier, um, but I'm going to actually launch it now from Eclipse. So once you've got the USB driver installed, the other two things that you need to check are go to, um, go to Android Manifest.xml and make sure it's set to debuggable here if you want to debug it on your phone and then go to your phone and let's take a look at my phone and um, if you go to settings so I'll just pull down the settings um, from the top here and I'm going to click this settings icon in the top right corner in fact yeah we're, we're already in settings and um, yeah, you need this option here, USB, uh, or is, is that the right option in fact? I think I'm in the right place. Let me try and start again from scratch. Um, so I'll go to, yeah, this is what your settings normally looks like. And then if you scroll down, um, I think there's a development option here. So yeah, developer options. If I click on that, and then go to, this is the one, USB debugging, so we need that to be enabled for this to work. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my home screen now, and I'm just going to, in Eclipse, I'm just going to click run now. So I've got those three things, the USB driver, the manifest debuggable setting, and the debug USB debugging setting in my phone. Um, and I'm just going to click this that I want to run on my HTC Desire phone. And if you're running on um, the Mac, then I think you don't need this USB driver. That's just a Windows thing. So it looks just like it's installing uh, in the emulator, but it's actually hopefully installing on my phone. And 
and in just a second I hope we will see the success message here we go success and starting it and there's my application and um, I'm just going to pick my phone up here in the real world and click in my um, actually let's see the emulator here uh, sorry not the emulator let's see this is the actual view of my phone the actual screen cast so I'm going to just type hello just for something to type and dismiss the keyboard and click save and hopefully that's worked and I'll click the home button now and I'll go to my apps and uh, let's take a look so I'm waiting for the emulator to catch up there we go and I'm going to scroll around until I see there we go now here's my note scroll application right there and that label is uh, I think it's actually not not the name of the app it's actually the um, it's, it's the label that goes um, onto the um, let's just double check again it's this thing I changed earlier that was in the uh, it's the label of the um, what do you call it activity sorry I'm forgetting my words if you go to strings here uh, we've got this title activity main and um, that's what I've set to note squirrel and that's what we're seeing under the icon here so I'll just click on that now and there's my text which hopefully will stay there and we're not seeing um, any obvious error messages but now um, there's there's a lot still to do on this application really and that's going to give us a lot of um, scope for exploring new things because at the moment this application sort of works probably but um, there's a lot that we haven't thought about and um, we're going to take a look at that very shortly so I just I just turned my phone on its side and you should always check that your um, you can check this on the emulator and you normally want to debug on the emulator probably and not your phone but you should check that it works in different orientations and things like that and we're going to get into all that a bit more shortly um, so that's it for this tutorial and until next time happy coding